hello everyone. Welcome to another stream, uh, part three of the playing every wipeout game stream series that I'm doing. Um, today I'll be playing Wipeout Fusion on stream, I'm playing all 42 tracks. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to put the game disc in now. Thought it'd be nice to start off the stream just with the PlayStation 2 intro. Hope everyone enjoys the stream tonight. Just wait for this to load now. Um, volume should all be good, but um, let me know if there's any issues. Um, Saving Private Bob in the chat says, We here for it. Hope you enjoy tonight's stream. I know you've been looking forward to this one. Um, you said to me before that you're a big fan of Wipeout Fusion. Yeah, this game came out exclusively on PlayStation 2 in the year 2002, so that makes it 22 years old, which is quite hard to believe, honestly. Saving Private Bob also says that sweet sound, indeed. Oh yeah, I hope you like my save names. Absolutely terrible. Um, I'll just go with my newest one. Um, hmm, there's a bit of an issue with the brightness and my controller. I think I'd better just fix that real quick. Uh, sorry about that. Back in a second. I guess I'll, I'll just use my technical difficulties um, stream card. Yeah, my controller's acting a bit funny and I need to go into uh, capture card software to change the brightness. Um, I'll be back in a second. Right, I apologise for that. We'll f um, should it will be fixed now? Um, yeah, let's watch the intro as well. Not a great start to the stream, but oh well. Yeah, that's Wipeout Fusion's intro. Definitely a lot different to, well, any of the other Wipeout intros. Um, let's uh, get on with the first track. So, um, I'm just going to 
whatever ship I use, I'm just going to upgrade to max. Um, well, with the max upgrade, just straight out of the way. Just for the highest speed and um, shield, uh, weapon power, etc. So, first tracks, um, well, all works differently in this game, so it's all split into seven different venues. And there's three tracks on each venue, uh, venue sorry, with reverse versions. So, six tracks in total times seven for each venue, that's 42 in the whole game. And I think there's three um, exclusive tracks on the AG League as well, so there's technically 45. But um, I'm not going to go through the whole AG, AG League just to show you them. So I'm just going to be racing on each of these tracks on arcade mode. So yeah, here's Florion Height, Course 1. Very short track. Um, yeah, let's just get into it. Game takes a little while to load, but uh, no worries. YouTube is saying the audio stream's current bitrate zero is lower than the recommended bitrate. We recommend... oh, never mind, it's gone. That was weird. Anyway, the game's loaded. <laughs> YouTube thought there was no audio. Must have been when I was trying to sort out the brightness in the controller. Anyway, so yeah, here's Pfizer with max upgrades. So yeah, um, if your ship has max upgrades, then all the opponent ships will also have 100% um, upgrades as well, just to match your speed and, um, and uh, shield integrity and stuff. I'm already flying to fourth place. Not too bad. So yeah, this is the kind of length of tracks you'd see in like the well most wipeout games. Um, however, the later tracks in each venue get very long. Some tracks are like up to 18 kilometers and take about a minute and a half per lap, um, while the um, this track takes around, well with max upgrades, around 20-25 seconds. Um, similar to the a lot of the tracks in the later Wipeout games. Okay, straight into first place. Not too bad. Oh, I'm already lapping someone. <laughs> I think that was Oricon, one of the most boxiest wipeout ships of all time. <laughs> oh yes, I think that was G-Tech, I'm glad I managed to strike them. <laughs> and yeah, that's the end of that, um, fairly straightforward really. Uh, yes, autosave. Saving Private Bob says, uh, Wipeout Fusion also loads slowly on Emulator too. Yeah, that's just the way the game is I suppose. Ah oh, well. Right, um, so yeah, let's just go on to the next track. That was 1 minute 15 in total, because <laughs> you only have three laps on arcade mode. Yes, very short. Um, um, I'll get on to the reverse version. I think I'll do um, each track and then the reverse one and then move on to the next one. So yeah, um, the reverse one is, yeah, it's the same exact track, just the other way around. I think it's the first time reverse tracks were a thing in Wipeout Fusion. I thought AI ships are more upgraded in the league as you progress, so it depends on you. Well, maybe? I can't actually remember because it's been a while since I've um, last completed this game. Um, but as far as I know, in arcade mode at least, um, whatever percent of upgrades you have in this instance, 100%, then all the AI will have the exact same upgrades. It's so like if you upgraded all your shield and weapon power, that will carry over to the opponents as well. But if you only upgrade your speed, um, the same thing will happen. It's just the speed that will be upgraded for the opponents. That was not a good start. Ran into the wall by EGR, I think. Mm. Oh well. Yeah, I think the reverse version is a little bit trickier, especially with that. Oh no. oh well. Being struck by those destroyed things. Bad pip. <laughs> oh no. But yeah, I think the reverse version of this track is just a little bit more difficult, especially with that part of um, the off-track section, um, with all the rocks right here. Oh no. Yeah, um, Wipeout Fusion is quite hectic sometimes. 
to say the least. All the weapon fire and stuff gets pretty extreme sometimes. Oh no. Speed. Um, it's, oh no, I don't know why I've pitted, but... Yeah, the speed is quite extreme sometimes as well. Um, I don't think it's quite 1,300 kilometers an hour extreme, though. That seems a bit high. I think the speedometer in this game is a little bit inaccurate. It's probably more like 700, like Phantom Class on the later Wipeout games. That's kind of what this looks like, but whatever. Oh, I think that was an elimination, but <laughs> whatever. Ah, oh, new lap record, nice. Um, so yeah, that's the first two tracks on, well, first track on full around height venue, but um, plus the reverse version. Okay, let's move on to Floron Height Course 2. I think I'm saying the... I think I'm pronouncing it right, I don't know. <laughs> oh, well. Um, I think I'll switch to a different ship, actually. Oh, I've already got Von Uber completely upgraded. Um, I guess we'll go with that. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of this ship in this game, especially with its extremely poor shield power. But, oh, well. <laughs> um, overall, it's not too bad. It's got a good balance of speed and uh, agility, I think, but... The shield energy is a big problem. Uh, someone in the chat, uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, sorry, but they just put the game over emoji. Yeah, um, I suppose that's fitting. I might get eliminated a few times in this uh, stream as well. Um, I'm also not sure if I'm going to do all 42 tracks in this one stream. I might end up having to split it into two streams because this it could take a while. Um, I don't really want to be streaming for any longer than like two hours, so yeah. So yeah, if I don't finish uh, the, this um, all the tracks in this game today, then I will continue it in another stream, maybe on mm, Monday or Tuesday. But anyway, let's not worry about that for now. I'm just going to skip this song because I think it's blocked worldwide on YouTube. <laughs> Pretty sure. I think it's the only wipeout. Um, the only song in any of the Wipeout games that's actually blocked worldwide on YouTube. So I better just make sure that doesn't play. I don't think it's a bad song or anything, it's just I might end up blocking the whole stream. So, yeah. I might be wrong, maybe it's not blocked worldwide, but I'm pretty sure it is. Anyway, this is Florian, Florian Height Course 2. Um, definitely a bit more tricky and certainly a lot longer than the first course. It's at least twice the length. And I've already... Oh no, oh, I wanted to pip. <laughs> I've already lost nearly half of my shield energy. Back, I'm down to 35. And I start at 60. Oh no. It's one of the opponents used a gravity bomb there. One of the most annoying weapons in any of the games. Just... It'll, sometimes it'll just slow you to a complete halt or throw you out the track for some reason. This game is quite bizarre sometimes. Not a bad game by any means, just... Yeah. It's definitely a bit odd sometimes. Oh yeah, this part of the track right here, like before, uh, well, if there's like lava down there, if you fall into it, it's an instant elimination. Which is quite unique for the Wipeout games. That was also a terrible shot with the cannon. I was, did not mean to do that. Oh no, I'm going to get eliminated. Oh no, no. I'm on 2%, 1%. Oh no. Ah, uh, there we go. First elimination, and it's only on the third track in the whole um, stream. Yeah, the game over emoji was definitely fitting. <laughs> Why game over? Did you lose? Yeah, I certainly have now. <laughs> That's not going well. Just wait for it to save. It takes its time. Right, um, restart. <laughs> Did not go well. Um, I'll try it again. I'll just skip the intro. There we go. Right, yeah, let's try this again. If I get eliminated again, then I'll just switch to a different ship. Because, yeah, this is like one of the weakest ships in all of Wipeout history. Maybe I'm over exaggerating, but it is it is very weak. I think the default shield um, energy is like 35 or something. 
just really low. But that's a bit of a better shot. I still missed like three quarters of those um, sh proton uh, cannon bullets just end up f uh, off the track completely rather than hitting the opponent, but whatever. Oh yes, the flamethrower. Um, probably the most useless <laughs> weapon in any of the games. Uh, yeah. I need to... Okay, there's a ship right behind me. Yeah, it... it I can... And that's about it. I think it takes off like 2 or 3% shield. It's... Yeah, the flamethrower is pretty terrible. <laughs> Oh well. Yeah, some of the weapons in this game seem a little bit silly. Some super weapons that are pretty ridiculous as well. Uh, yeah, this... Speak of super weapons, uh, the one weapon I've got right now is actually the Van Uber super weapon, which is the seismic field. It literally turns the sky black when you use it. And um, I think it slows down opponents. Okay, I missed. But yeah, as you saw there, the whole sky literally uh, went black. Um. Okay, hang on. YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. Hmm. It doesn't say... It looks fine in OBS. Um. I think YouTube's lying to me. <laughs> Does the stream look fine for you guys? It's saying it's not re receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. But um, there's only 0.7% drop frames, so... Hmm. Oh, uh, Bis Bissy12 in the chat says, Hello again, are you going to play Pure next? Yes, after I've done Wipeout Fusion, I'll be doing Wipeout Pure. I'm doing all the games in release date order. Well, apart from Wipeout 3 and 64. Um, I accidentally forgot to do Wipeout 64 on my first stream, so I ended up doing... Um, Wipeout 3 and then 64. Yeah, guys, let me know if this stream looks alright. YouTube's complaining, saying that there's not enough video or something. But, um, there's no errors in OBS or anything, so... Oh, God. Okay, at least one of those rockets here. <laughs> Look at the chat again. Um, it is lagging a bit good now. Hmm. Might be my network cutting out a little bit. I'm not sure. Hmm. Sorry about that, everyone. Uh, let me know if it happens again. If it does, I'll try and fix it somehow. Hmm. Okay, I'm on 18 um, shield energy. I better hit. Oh, no. No. Oh, God, that was close. Oh, yeah, another thing. This is the only wipeout game to feature damage. Um, oh, that's fourth. Okay. The only Wipeout game to feature real-time damage, which looks pretty neat, I suppose. Um, and also, it's the last Wipeout game to feature a pit lane. Um, every game after this just had... Um, well, the way it regained shield energy was just absorbing weapons. It's basically like discarding the weapon, except it gives you shield energy. Okay. Um, everyone's saying it's good now. The chat. Um, everyone in the chat saying the stream looks fine, so that's good. Thanks, everyone. Let me know. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. I usually don't have these problems, but um, uh, technology's bizarre. Some it ne never goes um, as planned. So, well, sometimes doesn't go as planned. I've already been streaming for 20 minutes. <laughs> I've only done uh, three tracks. But yeah, here's um, Florian Height Course to Reverse fourth track out of all the 42 in the game when it loads <laughs> Here we go. Um, I'll just skip the introductions um, I just saw your message there in the chat um, not playing from the front uh, hmm I'll do this first lap oh wow so I just fly under those ships, okay. <laughs> I'll do this first lap in third person view, and then I'll go into first person view, or internal, or whatever view afterwards. This game has quite a few unique cameras that aren't in any of the other 
I've got games. Yeah, I'll, I'll switch cameras when I've done this one lap. Make a seismic field, and I missed again. Damn it! <sighs> I tried to hit that time. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, this game really does get hectic. It's quite fun, though, sometimes. Um, I do, I have to admit, I do prefer the, um, most of the other Wipeout games over this. Especially, like, Wipeout, um, well, even the PSP games I much prefer over this. Um, I just prefer the physics style. Oh, no, I've, this is not going well. Yeah, um, this does have, um, th this is the only, like, Wipeout game to feature these. Oh, man. <laughs> I thought that was the right way. Um, this is the only Wipeout game to have, like, these kind of style physics with, like, being stuck to the ground, I guess, and the pitch kind of levelling automatically over as you go over the track. Oh, wait, I need to switch cameras. Yeah, this is a closer one. And then there's the, I guess, the nose view. And then, yeah, here's the internal camera. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, everything just went black there. That was interesting. <laughs> But yeah, here's the internal view. Kind of feels more like I'm playing, um, well, a different Wipeout game now. It doesn't look as obvious that the ship is completely, like, just glued to the floor. Unless I, of course, go over these. Oh, man. I'm getting absolutely walloped by these weapons. Quick, pit, pit. Wow. There we go. Not quite up to max shield energy. Um... That was not me. The autopilot just did that. What the hell? Okay. The autopilot just steered me into the wall. Are you actually kidding me? I've just lost like a valuable five or so seconds. Which, uh, oh man, I'm on 9% now. That was ridiculous. I've never had that happen before. Oh, I've just got rammed into now. Okay, I look, I've got a shield. I might make it to the end of this race in one piece, but I don't know. Oh, no. No, don't hit the rocks. Come on. Come on. This is actually quite... Uh, this is quite... Oh, no. Come on. 2%. There we go. Did it. Wow. <laughs> That was interesting. Quake guy in the chat says, hey, <laughs> um, nice to see you. Hope you enjoy the stream. Um, real time damage? Yeah. Um, well, okay, I say that. It's not quite real time, but basically, the lower your shield energy is, the more, mm, well, mucked up the ship gets, <laughs> basically. I, I probably shouldn't have said real time. That probably would have made people think of, like, beam NG drive or something. No, it's not quite that realistic. <laughs> The damage still looks pretty good, I think. Like, basically, yeah, the lower the shield is, um, the more um, damage the ship looks. And then when you get to zero, obviously the ship explodes. Uh, brings back memories from my modding adventures in the world of Wipeout Fusion. You modded this game? That's interesting. Hmm. That sounds pretty interesting. I'd like to take a look at that, if you've got any content um, about that. Um, what kind of modding do you do? Like, is it... Um, okay, I'm just gonna change ships. Um, shall I use GTEC? No. <laughs> uh, I think I'll just use EGR. But yeah, I'd be interested to see what, what kind of mods that you've done for this game. Um, you don't have to share if you don't want to, but feel free to let me know. Um, shielding is a lot better on this. Um, it goes up to 138. Not as good as Tigron, but yeah, this the ships in this game as well. Um, Personally, I'm not a big fan. Like, this doesn't really look like a wipeout ship to me. Uh, Tigron is definitely quite different. Xyos as well. Yeah, it, it's very unique. The only ones that look anything like the previous games or the later games is Piranha and Fizar, I'd say. Oh, well, not when it's on max upgrades. Maybe like this, like this version. And Vanuba, kind of, maybe. Um, but the rest of them, like GTEC mm, and Oricom, is extremely boxy. <laughs> I'll just use EGR. Um, I'll switch to the other pilot that I've upgraded. Um, I think this is one of the fastest ships in the game as well. 
Um, okay. Now it's time for Florian Height Course 3. Um, yeah, 8.96 kilometers. Yeah, again, the tracks in this game are some of the longest in the series. Um, oh yeah, the damage also makes your ship handle slightly differently. Yeah, that's another thing. Um, the more, the, the lower your shield energy is, the worse it'll handle. Like, they really tried to emphasize on, like, realistic damage, I think, in this game. Uh, the mods I made were mostly goofy ones. <laughs> I put Van Uber's weapon power to max, and the shield energy to three units. That sounds quite hilarious. Um, I tried the infinite weapon mod, made it way too easy. That was a cheat, if I recall. Oh yeah, cheat, my bad. I mean, modding the game files. Okay, no problem. Awesome. Mm, I was just catching up in the chat. Um... So yeah, I think um, I'm definitely gonna check that out after the stream. I think, well, maybe tomorrow actually, because it'll be quite late by the time I'm done. But yeah, well, this ship is almost completely off camera. <laughs> oh yeah, some of the cheats for this game as well are pretty mad. Oh wait, I just realised I should have tried the cheats out. Maybe that's that could be an idea for a video or a stream actually. Just <laughs> wipeout cheats. I just had a thought. Okay, but yeah, I remember some. There's like biplanes and animal ships and stuff like that in Wipeout Fusion as available as cheats. Um, 2097 also had the wipeout. Um, sorry, Wipeout 2097 also had the animal ships um, available to race, which is quite fun. I think you had to hold like um, the shoulder buttons on the controller. As it was, um, as the game was starting up. Power swing, nice. Oh no, I've accidentally made it into this ridiculously thin tunnel. Oh my god. First, second, okay. God, this game is absolute madness sometimes. It shoots backwards. I like how you can shoot weapons backwards in this game. But you do have to really be knowing. Well, you do have to have a lot of control over the ship to. Oh no! I've just, I've just shot those drones into oblivion. Well done. Well done, me. That was a waste. Oh no! I knew I should have kept this. Oh wow, that actually did a lot more than I thought. Okay, shield. Well, this ship. This is one of the best in the game, I think. Um, I don't know about design, but like the actual. Well, just for my personal opinion, I think. Um, the handling is probably some of the best in this game for this specific ship. Yeah, I'm not really the biggest fan of how it looks. I don't know. Anyway. Oh no. Hit some mines. The mines are really small in this game. It's quite hard to see from far away until you get quite close. Okay. There we go. That went quite well. Um, this was actually the first track I ever played, um, uh, I think three years ago, again very late, but um, three years ago um, my older brother got a demo disc, a uh, PS2 demo disc uh, from eBay and it had a Wipeout Fusion demo on it and he let me try it out. And it was my first experience with this game and yeah, it, was, it had this track with uh, the Pfizer ship and I think it had EGR available as well. Okay. Um, six people currently watching. Hope you're all enjoying the stream so far. Um, having having some fun with this game, just playing through each track. Right, so now it's time for the reverse version. I'll just use EGR again. Uh, EGR is one of my favourite ships for the handling. Uh, Law-wise, they use different engines from other ships, and therefore the handling's different or something along those lines. I haven't actually looked at the law for for Wipeout for a long time, so I can't really remember much of it honestly. Um, but yeah, I, I do remember some of it's quite, um, quite strange, I don't know. Um, wow, good old days, love that era, lol. <laughs> but here we go. Nice boost start. Okay, oh yeah, this one goes way uphill. Kind of like Empire Climb on 2048, but just... Well, mm, a lot less. Tr well, it's not as much of a climb, I guess. Okay. 
I might be using the air brakes a bit too much. Oh no. Thought I was worried I was gonna fly into that tunnel. Right out of the way, piranha. I like how every version of this track has this uh, 360 loop. Very nice. I don't know why I pitted when I only lost four shield energy, but whatever. Oh god. I guess the flamethrower, which. I yeah. <laughs> it's probably the worst weapon in this game, not gonna lie. But oh well. Out of the way, Tigron. Or Tigron, whatever. Okay. Yeah, god, this ship really does handle well. I forgot how. I don't really play um, the classic Wipeout games as often as I used to. So I uh, kind of forgot what some of the handling was like, but yeah, this ship is definitely one of the best, in my opinion. It's a very good balance of sh like speed, um, shield, and handling. It might actually be the best. Actually, no, Piranha. Piranha's probably the best one. Oh, um, I've just overtook someone. Oh no. Oh wow, how did I miss that wall? Okay. Oh yes, gravity bomb. Another bizarre weapon. Sometimes it flings ships off the track for some reason. Or it'll just stop them in their path. Which is useful if you're um, the player, but if an opponent uses a gravity bomb, it can be bloody annoying. Anyway, another lap record. Nice. Okay. Might disable auto save because it takes a while. And, um, actually, no, it's fine. Right, that's Florian Height done. Um, all six tracks, well, three tracks in reverse versions. Um, I'll move on to. Hmm, I'll use Tigron. Um, I'll just upgrade everything. It's another really fast ship. Don't think it handles quite as well though. But um, I think it has the best shielding in the entire game. 168. Wow. Um, looks interesting. <laughs> okay. Mandrashi. Um, this track kind of reminds me a little bit of just Vanita K from Wipeout Pure HD. Um, let's start with course one. Five kilometers. So, yeah, course one of each venue is usually quite short. Yeah, um, hopefully the stream's worked fine since the last hiccup, where it apparently f uh, f lagged a few times. Yeah, if, again, if, if the stream starts uh, lagging, just let me know in the chat. It does have the best shielding, um, but it has horrible handling, lol. Yeah, I, you're talking about Tigron, aren't you? Which I'm about to find out. Uh, yeah, straight away. Um... Oh wow. No, I thought you had to go there. Damn it. Oh man, this handling's terrible. Oh. oh no. This is bad. I mean, it's got great shielding, but. And good speed as well, of course, but. That's um, not too bad on these specific corners. But, um. Yeah, it's quite sluggish. Oh dear. And third, but I don't know how long this will last. Get out of the way, Zyos. There we go. First place. Yeah, this track feels like it could be next door to Vinita K or something. From my Up Pure HD. As I said. Just has the very similar vibe. The sky is definitely different though. It's very red. <laughs> oh no. Oh, God, I hate that. As well. That's another thing. Those... Those parts of the wall that are like blocked off, like if you hit them, you'll just stop sometimes. It's really annoying. In worst case scenario, you'll end up doing it like a 360 turn. It's like how in the original Wipeout, if you hit a wall, you'd like stop and um, do like a barrel roll. Except in this game, you just do like a 360 spin. Anyway, um, another lap record, nice. Okay. So, yeah, that was a very short track again. 
quite fun. Um, T run definitely a bit uh, sluggish with the handling, but ah oh well. Uh, game. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> Thought it froze. Um, the TV's also just gone blank. The game's being a bit weird. There we go. Okay. Uh, it's because the f video format changes every time you go into a race. Hope that's not um, mucking up the stream e either. Hmm. Yeah, I hope that's not screwing the stream up in any way. Like when the. Because, yeah, the. The menu and the racing like uses different video modes. Like my whole screen, my TV goes blank for a few seconds um, when it shows the loading screen, um, and then it's fine. Not um, it, it might be doing the same thing on stream. I don't know. Oh no, it isn't. Okay, good. Thanks, Crate Guy, for letting me know. Right. Um, anyway, I'll stop rambling about the. Uh, that and I'll just continue with the race. Um, oh. It seems to be okay. The only time it froze was that time like a minute ago. Okay, thanks. Thanks for letting me know. Um, I don't like how the rockets shoot individually. I think this is the only wipeout game to do that. Uh, that was a complete waste. Um, okay, this is another pretty short track. I think it's about the same length as the other one, just to course a different layout. Oh no, I've set Piranha on fire, but it doesn't actually mean anything. Yeah, the f flamethrower really is a bizarre weapon. Sometimes the proton cannon actually knocks the ship um, to a different direction somehow. Out the way, where's your Piranha? Oh, they're about to uh, not get eliminated. Although they did just fly into a row of mines. Oh, they're fine. Never mind. And <laughs> okay, yeah, the gravity bombs like that sometimes. It just it just like adds like an extreme speed boost for some reason. Like it flings ships across the track, or it'll just stop them in the like just completely stop. Them. Oh no, I went into the bio snare. Why does it have to turn the ship green? Anyway, um, yeah, that's uh, Mandrashi Course 1, Reverse. Another pretty fun track. Not sure if it's that fun using Tigron, but whatever. Okay, <laughs> uh... Hmm. Let's use... Zios. Should we? <laughs> yeah, let's just use it. Um, I should probably use... Just as a bit of a... Oh. Okay, I'm going to have to remove the upgrades for something. I'll just do it with Piranha, because those up. Oh, never mind. Um, I'll do it with Tigron, because I know the upgrades for that are quite expensive. I should be at, like, 95 million credits, but, um, yeah, the upgrades do use a lot of money. Or credit. Yeah, um, I was at 15 million. I've taken all the upgrades off. I'm now at 49, so that's like 35 million credits to upgrade to max power. Wow. What's this going to be like? I've already used 15, 20. That was like... That was like 40 million. Oh, yeah. oh wow. Yeah, Zoyos with max upgrades is very unique. I think it's a pretty good ship, though. Um, but yeah, course two. Let's do that. Okay, if you're lucky, you can do some massive shortcuts with a gravity bomb. Yeah, um, I don't think that's ever happened, unfortunately. Usually I'll just end up flying, like, completely out of bounds. Okay, um... 
took a while. There we go. I think um, I'll switch to the interior camera again because uh, I've been f forgotten to do that like uh, a few, quite a few times in a row. Probably stop switching ships every couple of tracks I do. Kind of just want to change things up a bit, but it definitely uh, catches me off guard with the like, different handling each time. Okay. I think this is the track where you can make the bridge like go way up in the air. And there's also like a super secret shortcut. Yes. Oh wow, okay. Third place. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. I think this is the track. Oh yeah. Oh, I, I must have missed it. Oh well. Yeah, I think I. Th there's like that yellow pad you race over, and then it would um, activate. Well, it'd bring up the bridge, and then you'd be able to fly way in the air. And if you had a turbo, you could potentially get access to like a super secret shortcut. Which I don't think I've actually ever done before. I've only seen people do it on YouTube. Right. I guess this is a good opportunity to use the shield drain. This is basically just the leech beam or the energy drain weapon. Um, except it's, for some reason it's now a exclusive super weapon for Xyos. Um, oh, I should not be looking back. Okay. And I missed it again. Whoops. <laughs> really want to show off that shortcut, but I don't know. It's not really that great anyway. It's just it makes the bridge go up a bit and then you basically just fly up in the air instead and then land back on the track instead of just going straight ahead. That's basically it. I can give this game credit for like it, it did try a lot of different things. Quite experimental. I do think it tried a bit too much at once personally. Sometimes a bit buggy. Um, sometimes some glitches and stuff. Um, but again, that's, it's not a bad game. It's just what I think. Anyway, first. Nice. Yeah, Zios um, with max upgrades is, is certainly interesting. Right, let's move on. Uh, how saving probable says how is it unique? Um, do you mean the ship? I guess it's mostly just the design. <laughs> um, like, f I don't know, I just think it looks unique compared to most of the other Wipeout ships. Um, I vote third person, by the way, just putting that out there. Yeah, um, I do prefer playing in third person, but um, sometimes playing in uh, first person internal camera is quite um, just a bit of fun. And um, some viewers seem to like it as well. Um, Maybe I could try doing internal camera for reverse tracks and then four tracks third person, I don't know. Maybe that'd be too an annoying to have it change every time. I'm not sure. Hmm. Um, I, I do think I'd play better with third person as well, I don't know. I might just end up sticking to third person camera. Anyway, uh, Mandrashi, course 2, reverse. Um, yeah, I'll just use Zyos again. Well, I'll just be using Zyos again. There we go. Sometimes the, it takes ages for it to say go. There we go. I think all three of those grenades hit, nice. Um, very red sky. Oh no. I'll try and avoid those parts of the track. Okay. Oh, come on. Walk on. There we go. Nice. I think it actually repairs the ship as well if it's damaged. Which is pretty neat. 
yeah, in the in any other the wipeout games, the only damage you'll see on the ships um, is just when it gets eliminated and then like it explodes. That's pretty much the only damage that any of the other wipeout games have. Although Wipeout HD in 2048 had like um, different meshes for each ship when it, um, when it exploded, like you'd see them all like dented and scraped and like bits of it missing, which is pretty cool. Not as noticeable in 2048, I don't think, as the ship bursts into a fireball after like two seconds. I think that does happen in HD as well, Wipeout HD, except only if the ship goes out of the track. Who's that in first? Is that Pfizer in first? No, it's Karana. Of course it is. Got that rocket literally hit and... Oh, now it's slowing down. That took some time. Right. Oh, oh no. Oh. That's bad. I thought I have a turbo. I did not mean to clip that wall. That was bad. That was... Okay, I'm still second somehow. I'm actually surprised. If I... Oh no. The Piranha ships are quite competitive. Especially since they're pretty much the best in the game. By far. I'll probably be using that next. The Piranha ship. That was weird, the game audio went quiet for me for some reason. I don't know if that was just my TV. Um, the, the audio literally cut out for like five seconds. Oh well. Um. <laughs> okay. Let's move on. Um, our Quake guy in the chat says, You don't need to wait for the reticle to fully... Oh. You don't need to wait for the reticle to fully focus, by the way. You can fire as soon as it appears without them fully locking in. Yeah, I know that. Um, actually, I've done that. Um, I have done that before. Um, sometimes I do have a habit of just letting it lock on, though. Um, probably a bug. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Moosey in the chat says, Loving it, pal, with a lot of emojis. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Well, I mean, I'm glad to hear you're enjoying the stream. Um, yeah, let's use Piranha. I'm going to have to take off all the upgrades for this. Because it's extremely expensive to upgrade the Piranha ship. Yeah, I'm glad everyone's enjoying the stream, as always. Oh yes, Zios looks way smaller now. Okay. Yeah, literally every stat on this is maxed out by default. Oh, I can't quite get the last bit of speed. Um, I'll just remove the upgrades for, like, Pfizer then, I guess. There we go. Should be able to get the tiniest, uh, the last little bit of speed for Piranha now. How much does it cost? It costs 4 million credits just to get the last bit of top speed. Wow. <laughs> it's weird how the top speed is, like, its own... Um, thing that has to be upgraded, but anyway. Course 3 this time. Very long track. 11 kilometers. 47 second lap. Well, that's my best lap time anyway. I imagine someone... Some people probably got better times, but that's fine. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of long tracks in this game. I think with no upgrades, uh, certain tracks like Alcavexus... Uh, course 2 and Kubus Float Course 3, I think those tracks can take like 2 minutes per lap with no upgrades. <laughs> oh yes, this song. Easily one of the best songs in this entire soundtrack, I think. Oh, oh, are you joking? <laughs> Great song, but terrible start. But, um, yeah, this Piranha Ship, it's very overpowered. Um, very good speed, very good handling, very good. well done about the shielding. I mean, it's all right. I think it could be a little better, or maybe I'm just silly. I don't know. Uh, yeah, the all in all, the Piranha ship is, I'd say, the best one in the game. I'm sure most people would probably say the same. Okay. 
handling is diminished a little bit um, from the impact. Just pit. There we go. Now the front of it's not um, well, bashed up anymore. Right, hopefully the autopilot doesn't steer me into the wall this time. But okay, it disengaged extremely early just then. Autopilot is bizarre in this game. It's annoying how there's no like, there's no countdown timer or anything to let you know when it's going to turn off. Okay. Sony speed pads. Oh wow! Oh wow! That's fast. Oh no! Being shield drained. Oh no. <laughs> Accidentally uh, discarding the mines. The air brakes are a bit janky. <laughs> that's just the way the game is work. Well, that's just the way this game works, I suppose. Well, this ship is very fun to use. Oh no, until I uh, use the turbo there, almost flying out, well, into the roof. In fact, it pretty much did just hit the roof. Okay. I remember on zone mode on this track, um, once you get to like zone 30, it's that part of the track is almost impossible. Uh, because you'll just end up hitting the tunnel. What if you use the penetrator here? That was a terrible idea. <laughs> oh no. Why did I do that? Yeah, um, the Penetrator, if you didn't know, is uh, Piranha's super weapon, which is exclusive to just the Piranha ships. And it's basically like an autopilot and a missile and a turbo, all like in one weapon. I'm stuck in second now because of what I just did. Oh well. <sighs> yeah, the... the... Per the... Sorry, the, the penetrator weapon is very overpowered. Like, it like doubles the speed that you're currently going. Like, it basically like doubles the speed that you're traveling, as well as I think it's like an autopilot for a couple of seconds, and it basically turns the front of the ship into a missile, so like it'll basically damage a ship upon impact. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's use Piranha again. A reverse version. I'll just catch up with the chat while this is loading. Um, uh, Quake Guy says, I love this track. I think it's one of the fastest in the game, along with Cat Motor 12. Forgot which course. Probably course 3, I think. The longest one. Um, Saving Private Bob says, Autopilot, just kidding. This is a cool track. Yeah. Mandrashi. Um, quite a nice track. I do like the setting in general. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's another Plump DJ tr uh, music track. Better start than last time. Oh wow, I nearly just ruined it. <laughs> wow. Again, the gravity bomb just sending ships like flying away. Um, wow. Quake. I feel like. Um, this is a random thought, but I feel like I could make uh, some videos about the evolution of the weapons in, in Wipeout. I know that um, Hellfire WZ, that channel, um, many years ago, did a like they've done like really good videos um, that have aged really well on like the evolution of Wipeout and like the teams and the weapons and stuff. Um, I feel like I could probably make my own videos as well, just on the weapons. Um, there's probably not much need to since like the um, Hellfire Hellfire's original videos age really well. I mean, I could make my own videos. I don't know if anyone would be interested. But, um, yeah, just videos about like the evolution of each weapon in the game. Oh, no. oh that was a big grind looking at the shield. Okay. Yeah, this does remind me a lot of Vinny 2K, just with the overall like setting and 
like the underwater tunnel and stuff. It's like Vanita K but way longer. And also has corkscrew turns and stuff. Uh, which is something Vanita K obviously didn't have. I do like how the autopilot automatically uses weapons. It, it basically just makes you an AI opponent for a few seconds. Like, quite literally. Like, in, the, in any other game, it would just be... Um, it would just be the autopilot that um, guides you around the track for a few seconds and that's it. But in this game it literally uses the weapons for you and stuff. Um, but it does also apparently occasionally um, have a habit to steer into the wall. <laughs> Although that might have just been a one-time bug. Oops, probably not. I imagine that's not very common. I don't think it's ever happened to me before. Penetrator. Uh, that was... that did nothing. Whatever. Another new lap record, nice. Um, yeah, BC12 in the chat says, Hellfire's videos are awesome. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, yeah, they showed a lot of love to the Wipeout series. Um, I think they mostly upload between 2009 and 2014, something like that. Um, so yeah, their videos are basically like a decade old or more at this point, but I think they've aged really well. Um, yeah. So yeah, if if, um, if there's any of you uh, that are watching right now, um, I'd highly recommend you check out, he um, you'd search Hellfire WZ on YouTube and check out his Wipeout videos. Because they are old by now, but they have aged very well, and I think might um, interest a, a few of you. Um, anyway, uh, let's use Oricom. I'm not using GTEC, I hate it. <laughs> Oracle. Um, I'm going to have to take um, the upgrades off Piranha because it's really expensive. What's that? Like, yeah, about 50 million credits to upgrade. Um, yeah, let's use Oricom. Very boxy ship. It's even. I mean, Goteki 45 was always quite boxy, but this is on another level. In fact, it kind of looks a bit like Gotegi 45, especially the front, like, fork design. Well, it looks even boxier now that I've upgraded it. <laughs> Let's go to Kubis... wait. Yeah, okay, I did. Just making sure. Yeah, Kubis Float, uh, course one. Another pretty short... although well, seven kilometers, still fairly long for a wipeout track, but... Let's go. Uh, Quake guy says G Tech is the worst team, both gameplay wise and lore wise. Nobody likes them. Yeah, I totally agree. Can't remember what the lore was. I think it was something to do with like money laundering or something. Or well, maybe I'm thinking of another team. But um, yeah, G Tech was terrible. I think they descended from AG Systems as well, which is a shame because AG Systems was always a pretty great team in literally all the games. Well, um, apart from shield energy usually, but like uh, aside from that, like they had a pretty good balance of speed and uh, handling. Isn't me or is the camera really like raised up for this specific ship? Oh yeah, I forgot this ship's really heavy as well. Oh god, it's quite slow as well. Well, well, acceleration's quite poor anyway. Turbo, oh yes, <laughs> that's quite high. Um, okay, I tried to, oh wow, I think an opponent just steered right off the cliffside there, or mountainside. Oh no, God. collision's a bit weird sometimes. Yeah, this ship's a little bit weird, um, in terms of everything really. Um, pretty weird, like, slow acceleration sluggish handling and it's overall just heavy and really boxy as well as I've mentioned many times. How would this be agile in any way? There's no way it should be able to... Oh no. That's not good. I've just been hit by uh, whatever that super weapon's called. <laughs> Is it a nitro rocket or something from Tigron? Yeah, um, luckily I got away with that um, quite easy. But yeah, usually that weapon, that basically, I think it's 
it basically turns your ship into ice for like 10 seconds and any hit like any uh, damage sustained is basically multiplied by 10 what the f what was that <laughs> did you guys just hear that that was a sound glitch bloody hell that scared me that was actually terrifying Okay, what I was trying to say was, yeah, the Nitro Rocket, if you're hit by it, um, basically turns your ship into ice and you lose like 10 times more shield energy on any impact. Something like that. Luckily, I didn't really impact, um, well, I didn't collide with anything uh, just then when I got hit by it, by that weapon. Anyway, um, that sound just then, what was that? <laughs> that was really weird. Okay. Some of the games from the Nintendo Wii did that beeping thing too, lol. <laughs> Says great guy in the chat. Yeah, that was bizarre. Caught me off guard. <laughs> okay, let's do course one reverse. Um, okay, uh, back in a second, guys. I'm just going to have to pause for a minute. Won't be long. Okay, I apologise for that. I'm back now. Okay. Um, right. Course one reverse. Here we go. I've already been streamed for over an hour. Um, I think I'm going to have to split this into two streams. Um, there's no way I'm going to get all 42 tracks done in two hours. It's already been an hour, and I've done, I think, I've done like, this is the 14th track now out of 42. So, looks like I'm going to have to continue this in another stream, I think, because where I am right now, it's 23 minutes past 11 p.m. I live in the UK, so probably shouldn't have started the stream this late but I was busy with other things. I, w I, did, want it to s I did want to start at half past nine but I ended up starting at quarter past ten. So, yeah. I'll probably end up getting to the end of um, Alpha Vexus on this stream. But yeah, um, anyway. So yeah, this is Cooper's float. Uh, course one, just reverse. wonder if that weird sound will happen again. <laughs> Probably not, but... Right. Oh 
Oh no. Oh god. Not the gravity bomb. Okay. Uh, not doing too well. Fourth. Uh, oh wait, no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, okay. There's the nitro rocket again. Yeah, um... Anything I collide with... Okay, that was fine. Yeah, anything I collide with, I'll lose, like, way more shield energy. I think it's, like, ten times higher. Like, ten times more damage. But luckily it only lasts about ten seconds. Oh. Okay, cheers. I'm just blocking the entire uh, track for me just then. Oh dear. I think that was a Zios ship. Oh no. Quake. It's weird how there's, like, warnings of, like... We well, like, proton cannon bullets being fired at you, but then the quake, there's never, like, any, like, loud warning uh, siren or anything. It just kind of happens. Ah, well, whatever. Right, that's it. Not quite first, but whatever. Right. Uh, Saving Private Bob says, only 21 tracks tonight. Yeah, um, kind of uh, under underestimated how long th this would take. So yeah, I might end up doing... Well, let's have a look. Um, I'll switch from Oricon, because I'm not really a big fan. I think I'll just go back to Van Uber. Although, actually, that might be a... <laughs> That might be rather entertaining for uh, what's about to happen. Um, okay, so let's just look at this. Um, yeah, it might be sensible for me to um, finish this stream at the end of the Alcavexus tracks, and then I'll do the other 21 tracks in a different stream. Um, yeah. Otherwise, I'll be streaming for so long. It'll probably end up going for like over three hours, like past 1 a.m., and I don't really want that. <laughs> anyway, um, let's not worry about it for now. Uh, Kubis Float Course 2, which is apparently 1,091 kilometers. I think there's meant to be a decimal point there. <laughs> Whatever. Um, let's just get on with it. That's bizarre. stream's got 12 likes. Oh, nice. I think that's the most likes I've got on any of my streams for a while. Thanks, everyone. I'm really glad you're enjoying this. Okay. Um, yeah, course two of this track is an absolute nightmare <laughs> for this exact reason. Um, okay, I got out of that quite easy, but yeah, that tunnel is an absolute nightmare. Um, it was just, yeah, oh, there's a shortcut here, never mind, missed it. Yeah, um, flying over that yellow weapon pad would unlock the right route instead. My voice just cracked, great. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, um, that indoor tunnel section at the start of the lap is a nightmare sometimes. Um, it's kind of luck based sometimes, like making it through in one piece. Or Oh shoot. Okay. Oh no, not the flamethrower. Uh. Oh god. Oh wow, that was close. I actually nearly got plasma sniped. Uh. No. You. It's okay. The EGR just literally pushing me away from the pit stop. Little. Oh, wow. Okay. Um. <laughs> Oh no, I can't. Oh, someone's used a quake here and it's actually broken up section of track. That's another pretty cool thing about this game. It's the only Wipeout game to have, like, broken sections of track. Okay. Um, oh wow, that's a lot of lag. 
What the hell? What? What that? Wow. Yeah, this game sometimes has pretty bad lag spikes, and I'm about to get eliminated. There we go. <laughs> uh, well, that was great. <laughs> I'll try that one more time. Um, it's my fault for using Van Uber. Um, yeah, I might have to switch ships, uh, but I'll try again. <laughs> I'm kind of glad I'm not using the internal camera for this track. Mm, it'd be quite funny for a minute, but um, yeah, it'd probably make this impossible, especially for as someone who doesn't use the camera very often. Anyway. I've already, I've already lost 9 HP. Oh no. I'm never going to be able to go through the tunnel as cleanly as I did the first time, am I? Okay, that wasn't too bad. But I've, I've lost nearly like a, th a quarter of my shield energy. Maybe more. Oh god. I'm not the right route, why not? Some of the opponents have literally crashed into that wall just then. Okay. I don't know if... I can't really remember if unlocking the right branch helps at all. Okay, I've just broken that wall, I think. That basically... Un it's basically a secret turbo jump behind that wall. Which I'll try, I guess. Um, I need to pick. There we go. Okay, I'm mostly healed. Back up to max shield energy. I'm eighth. I'm not doing too good. Oh, no. Come on. Don't hit anything. Please. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That's probably the cleanest I've made it through that tunnel so far. Oh, no. Plus mine. mine. Mines are so disruptive um, in this game. Although, I mean, they've always been quite disruptive anyway. No! Oh man, I'm being f absolutely walloped by loads of different weapons. This is a long track as well. I think this is the longest one yet. Right, let's try this turbo jump, because I've got turbo. Yes. Oh. Okay, I thought I was going to miss. Oh, wow. Um, there has been one time where I think I missed, but then I actually bounced off the front of the mountain and actually landed back on the track. I think I was using uh, Pfizer or EGR or something, which was interesting. I think I might have actually had that in my Winter Tracks video from last December, but um, I can't remember if I actually showed it. Oh, narrowly missed that Zios advertisement sign. <laughs> oh no. Oh, where are all the opponents actually? I'm in fifth. I've been doing, I think I've been doing all right, but I'm still in fifth. But everyone's way ahead. Mm. That's another thing about this game, sometimes the balancing with just the racing in general is a bit off. Like, sometimes you'll be, well, there'll be weapons everywhere, like, being fired constantly. And then there are other races, um, well, and, and then, like, the opponents will be way ahead. And then there's other races where, like, you can easily get into first, and there's not really much going on, it's bizarre. Sometimes it's kind of on and off. Anyway, third, that's alright. Uh, okay. Uh, and let's just catch up with the chat. Uh, Lolzheim says, just joined. Which game is this? Oh, 2002. Just answer my own question. Yeah, um, Wipeout Fusion, the PS2 exclusive. The only PS2 Wipeout title. Actually, no. Because there was, uh, of course, Wipeout Pulse, which was really poor port. Like, it, it got, um,. Obviously, it came out on PSP in 2007, and then 2009, it got ported to PS2 for some reason. But it was a really bad port, because, um, I mean, the, the graphics were mostly improved, apart from some weird-looking textures, like, at the back of the ships. 
but the worst thing about it was that, that it had a save corruption bug, which is automatically makes it like the worst wipeout game, I'd say. Mm. Yeah, I mean, Wipeout Pulse is still very good, though, like, on PSP, but it's just such a shame it got such a bad port on PS2. Yeah, I kind of went off, um, went on a tangent there, but, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, there are only PS, there are only two PS2 Wipeout games. Wipeout Fusion was the only original one, and then, yeah, Wipeout Pulse was the, the port from... PSP. Um, okay. So yeah, this is Cooper's Fruit Course 2 Reverse. Again with Van Uber. Um, now that indoor tunnel section is going to be at the end. <laughs> I think it's actually worse than the reverse version. not too clean. That was not very clean at all. Oh, the rockets didn't even make any noise then. Oh, well. There we go, back up to max shield energy. I'm 10th. I'm doing quite bad on the Cuba's float courses. Oh, well. Oh, oh, whoa. Why is the screen shaking? There was no weapons being fired. That was weird. Oh, God, that was a uh, quake. <laughs> That ship was nearly on its side, wow. It's probably just turning, I guess. But... Oh my god, is that another quake? It is. Let's probably make sure to take the... Um, left branches. Because they're usually... Um, more advantageous. I think. Oh no. How can a ship going, well, supposedly over 1,500 kilometers an hour not uh, completely smash through uh, like an, a big piece of ice? <laughs> it's like on Wipeout HD, like on Phantom Class, how does, um, like on Ubermall, how does like an 800 kilometers an hour flying piranha ship not obliterate a little plant <laughs> and instead it just, the ship just bounces right off it? Bloody Uber plan. It's an absolute nightmare, especially on the reverse version of the track. I think most of my failed attempts are just from accidentally hitting that Uber more plan. Not sure if you if you guys know what I mean, but if you've played Wipeout HD, uh, then you might know. Yeah, collision physics in that game, in Wipeout HD in general, are just strange sometimes. Oh, why did I fire that? Oh, <laughs> Zios ship jump scare just fell from nowhere. Oh no, don't want to get eliminated literally in the last. Oh god, okay. Out the way. Come on. I don't know why I fired that, but whatever. Okay, did I say lap four of three for just a second there? I think it might have. Um, whatever. Um. Second, not too bad. Let's catch up with the chat. Uh, Saving Private Bob says, Save Corruption Bugs sounds nightmarish. Yeah, there's, there's just no point in playing the PS2 version of Wipeout Pulse, especially with that kind of bug. Um, I think... It, I mean, you could probably emulate it, okay? But, uh, this is 50 FPS on the EU version, right? Yes. Um, it is being streamed at 60. Um, I am. I have literally got it set to 50, but YouTube just puts it to 60 for some reason. Hopefully it looks fine. Hopefully it doesn't look all ghosty or anything. Okay, um, I'm going to use... For course 3, I think I'm just going to use Piranha again. Um, I'm going to have to remove some upgrades from something. Um, John... Tunasic in the chat. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. They said, awesome game. I'm glad you like it, um, and I hope you have fun watching my stream. These ships are made in the future, they have shield technology. Uh, yeah, speaking of shield, it utterly bugs me way more than these two, that the one game with visual ship damage is also the one game with open air cockpits. Yeah. 
Um, it is weird. Um, which ships have that? So yeah, G-Tech. If I just hold... Because L1 actually spins it the other way, I found out a while ago. Um, yeah, you can clearly see it has an open-air cockpit, which is really dangerous. Same with the Oricom, although not as bad. Actually, this one's... Um, this one's actually fully protected. I think it's the... Um, I'm not sure if it's the... Yeah. Yeah, that's open air. Okay. EGR's closed, I think. Yeah. And then Tigron, yeah. Zoyos is. Piranha isn't. Which is interesting. Like that one's open air. Anyway. Um, no, not G-Tech. Bloody hell. Oh yeah, I already removed the <laughs> upgrades for Vanuva. Right, let's do... Um, oh wait, no. Um, I'm upgrading the wrong pilot. Oh my god, I'm getting confused. Sorry guys. <laughs> yeah, the, had the wrong pilot selected. So it was um, upgrading the worst version of the ship. Cause yeah, each because there's two pilots for each team, and yeah, um, one and all the other has slightly worse stats. Let me just do this real quick. Sorry, guys. Seventy-one percent lateral stability. <laughs> uh, that's obviously good. Anyway, um, I think this is yeah, this is a close cockpit. Right, uh, course three. Uh, I think the longest track in the whole game, fourteen kilometers. And even with max upgrades, my best lap is 1 minute 6. Um, Saving Pro Bob says stream looks good. Thank you. Don't mean to harp on about it, but I'd love to see a Robot Wars live stream. Robot Wars is so underrated. Um, yeah, at some point, um, I'm considering uh, streaming that game. That would be a lot of fun, I think. Just just some random... Uh, just some random battles on Robot Wars Extreme Destruction. Um, I might actually bring my younger brother on to stream as well. Uh, to do two player potentially, because um, yeah, he likes Robot Wars as well. Um, I think it was one of the first games he played, Robot Wars Extreme Destruction. So yeah, maybe a two player stream with me and my younger brother might actually be quite, it might be quite fun. Um, I am currently in the middle of a stream series though, where I, um, where I play each of the White Park games in order of, um, well, I'm, I'm basically playing each track on each game. Um, I'm currently like, this is the fifth game now. Yeah, it's Wipeout 1, and then 2097, then 3, and then 64. It's actually the other way around. Um, and then Fusion. So yeah, um, yeah I'm th basically halfway through. So yeah, at the end of this series, I'll start doing different, well, I'll, I'll be doing different streams after that. Um, Maybe in the next couple of weeks or so, um, I'll do a live stream on Robot Wars. Um, stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, you might have to wait a couple of weeks, unfortunately, because I'm in the middle of a series, but um, hope you don't mind. Uh, Robot Wars Extreme Destruction really is one of a kind. <laughs> Oh no, bloody trees. Yeah, that's the thing, these trees again, they, they're really, they don't look that dangerous at first, but they can, oh wow, um, I was literally completely stopped within seconds. Um, but yeah, those trees, they don't look very dangerous, but they can completely knock you off course if you hit them, if it, well, if you scrape any of them really. Mm. Yeah, and it's bizarre how a ship going thousands of kilometers an hour can't... Um, well, it gets completely stopped by a single tree. <sighs> That's just how all the games work, though. Destructible environments. Well, actually, this game kind of has destructible environments in certain areas. Like, you can break certain walls to access some shortcuts. As you saw in Course 2 on this track, um, there's that one part of the wall that you um, shoot the weapon and then it... Uh, basically unlocks access to a turbo jump, which is usually hidden behind the wall. I have to use the janky air brakes here quite often. I'm just randomly fire this plasma, I don't think it's going to do anything. Nope. Oh no. No. Oh no. 
that I kept the rockets and London hit. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, come on. <laughs> Bloody gravity bomb. Um, I think there's some new messages in the chat, but um, I'll read them after I finish the race. As, 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 as always. This ship is completely ruined now. Wow. Oh, man. Go away. Out of the way, Zios. Oh, dear. The entire left side of the ship is completely ruined. The damage is pretty good, I think, for the most part, in this game. Again, yeah, it's the only Wipeout game to feature, uh, well, I guess a damage system. Not real-time, as I said earlier by accident, but yeah, basically, the lower your shield energy is, the more um, beaten up the ship looks. <laughs> Shall I use the penetrator in this... Um, not just after this corner here. Yeah, I think I should. Just see what happens. Oh no, that was a bad idea. That was, no. Oh. Oh no. That was a really bad idea. For entertaining them. <laughs> oh, wait. No, I think that was another piranha ship trying to get in first. Anyway. Um, <laughs> that was Kuba's float course 3. Very long track. Hmm. Okay. Uh, rapid. Um, rapid Embor in the chat. I think that's your name. I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. Cars going 200 plus miles an hour stopped in their tracks by trees. So I wouldn't say it's completely unrealistic. Uh, I suppose. Um, that's fair enough. This looks cool anyway. I'm only 26 and I never played or heard of this game, but the gameplay looks awesome, says Lozine in the chat. Yeah, um, Wipeout as a series, I do like it a lot. It's quite an old series by now. Started in 1995 and um, the last game was 2017. Um, and that was a remaster, so. But yeah, um, uh, so I guess this is your first experience then. Um, your, your first look at. Um, at Wipeout in general. Um, it is a prequel cool game. I do personally prefer most of the other ones, like the PS1 titles or like the ones on PSP and PS3 and PS4. Um, but yeah, Wipeout Fusion, pretty cool game. Um, I think it's quite easy to find on eBay. Um, if, you, if you're interested, you could, um, well, you could look at some, game, some other gameplay on YouTube if you want. And if it interests you, um, and you have a PS2, lying around then this game is an easy buy I suppose. Right, let's go on the reverse version. <laughs> okay, maybe that would have destroyed a tree normally. <laughs> yeah, I think it would have. Oh, man. It's so hot in my room for some reason. sometimes hard to hold the controller. Okay, that was a bit of lag. <laughs> it's a bit weird, like on some PS2 games when there's lag, the whole screen starts bumping up and down. I guess it's the interlacing or something. Anyway. Oh no, the trees are right at the start. Oh, oh god. Kind of like you, you go out of that 360 loop and you go straight into like just random trees. Also, I've just realised I'm f I'm actually in first straight away. That's rare. Hmm. Oh no, someone's after me. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, I like again you can shoot weapons backwards, which is pretty cool. It's possible in certain, like with certain weapons, in some of the games. Um, I know in 2097 you can shoot the missiles backwards, but that's about it, I think. Oh yes, penetrate. I like to sometimes just use this randomly, like not even when it's locked on, just so I get like a big speed boost. There we go. Oh no, grind the wall quite a bit there. Oh, new lap record, nice. Oh god. Oh. Oh. That was close. Like three times. That was um, that was insane. 
usually, again, if you hit one of those trees head-on, you'll lose all your speed and, like, spin round and around direction. That's usually what happens. Not if you lose all your speed, actually, but, like, you, you'll lose a lot of it, and chances are um, you'll get overtaken by a lot of the opponents. Okay. I really need to pay it. I'm on 35, 34 HP, and the uh, ship is really starting to get difficult to handle now. Difficult to control. Yeah, again, the, the more that's damaged, um, the worse it controls, pretty much. That turbo didn't really do much. Hmm. Maybe I didn't press the R1 button hard enough. Okay. There we go. Okay, that didn't really repair it much, but... Oh well. Right. See if I can avoid these trees again. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, I do love the piranha ship in this game. I'm not the biggest fan of the design again, but it is very well... Uh, it's got really good stats. It's quite overpowered, but... Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, that was a bit of, just a bit of a grind. Oh, wow, I'm lapping someone. Is that Pfizer? I think it was. <sighs> Another Pfizer. Of course, the Pfizer. Um, both ships are in last. <laughs> What's this? Is this EGR? Is it? I don't actually know what that was. Um, anyway. Um, that was a very smooth race, actually. Another new lap record. <laughs> that was, I think that was my best performance so far. Um, in the stream. Really, um, really satisfied with that, I think. Right. Uh, that's Kubis Float. Um, all three uh, courses plus the reverse versions. I'll catch up with the chat. Um, I wish. Saving Private Bob says, I wish uh, Wipeout HD had some weather. Yeah, that's weird. Because there were. They, Wipeout always had quite a lot of like the weather effects going on in a lot of the tracks, like in all the previous games. Like even on PSP. But then for some reason, I think. It didn't. I don't think Wipeout HD had any kind of weather effects. But then on the Omega Collection, uh, the remaster of Wipeout HD did actually have snow on the Sabengo Climb. Like, snowfall, but that was it. Um, reverse firing quakes are the funniest part of this game's combat, in my opinion. Yeah. It must be terrifying, though, for the opponent ships. Just a quake, like, well, literally incoming um, the other way. <laughs> I guess um, that generation of console would have had some performance issues if it did. Hmm. Mm, I'm not sure really. Um, I, I think, yeah, Saving Private Bob would talk about Wipeout HD on PS3, aren't you? Um, the trees, laughing emoji, indeed. <laughs> I guess I have two nickels for racing games on PS2 with Smart Bomb, Plump DJ's remix, where trees are the main enemy now. Oh, is the other game, uh, is that SSX Tricky? I haven't played it, but I know that has um, Plum DJ's Smart Bomb um, remix. I, I said that wrong, but never mind. Um, yeah, first nickel being SSX Tricky. Ah, yeah. Um, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't played SSX Tricky, but um, that's the surfboarding game, isn't it? Um, it's like, isn't it like Call Borders on PS1 or something? Anyway, um, now I'm going to get onto the last tracks I'm going to show um, on the stream. I'm not using GTEC. <laughs> uh, I'll use Oricom again to start with. Okay, the Alka Vexus Jungle with, again, some of the longest tracks in the game. Uh, let's start with Course 1. Yes, yeah, Snowboarding says Rapid Ember, Ember in the chat. I'm sorry if I'm saying a name wrong. Um, yes, yeah, so that's SSX Tricky, the snowballing game. I think uh, it was quite an early PS2 title, I'm pretty sure. I think I have seen a video of it on like the same demo disc, actually, that had a Wipeout Fusion demo. Like It also had an SSX Tricky demo video 
Um, and it actually had Smart Bomb playing, I think, as well. Okay. There you go. That was a pretty poor start, but oh well. Yeah, Alcavextus tracks. They, these are some of the trickiest in the game. I think. Very twisty. Um, and a lot of rain as well. I mean, the rain's not really much of a problem. It's just these turns. There's so many tight turns in, this, in these tracks. And this as well. <laughs> I mean, this ship's got pretty poor acceleration, which actually helps... Um, on this track, although, well, I'm still quite behind. Oh god, oh no. Yes. Oh no, none of them hit. I actually thought at least one of them would hit there. Oh, well. um, oh no, oh, weapons everywhere. Oh my god. <laughs> Leave me alone. Deep. Oh man, that's actually really distracting. It's the EGR super weapon, the, uh, I can't remember what it was called, um, never mind. <laughs> yeah, that's what those droid things are, that shoot the ship, it's the EGR super weapon. Wish I could remember what it was called, though. Oh, okay. I'm on 64 now, I've lost like half my shield energy. The entire front of the ship is just gone. It's back now though, after pitting. Whoa. Oh wow, was that two quakes? Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, there's a Zyle ship with like really low shield energy right here. Oh no! I'm using the bloody shield drain. Oh my god. Yeah, that Zyle ship is no longer on low health now. Low shield energy. Oh, I got stopped by something. Okay. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> Literally gliding through that entire straight part there. Oh, um, I didn't really need to pit, did I? Whatever. Fifth. Uh. Oh no, I've been struck with that bloody weapon again. a lot of fun with this game tonight though. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really play as often, but um, yeah, hope everyone, I'm glad everyone's been enjoying the stream as well. Oh, I have Foden double zeros in the chat, nice. Uh, thanks for joining. Power Swarm, oh that's what it's called, yeah, the Power Swarm. <laughs> Thank you. Quakes get duplicated when they go through the pits as the track splits off, interesting. Hmm. Have you ever played a tank game called Seek and Destroy? I used to love playing that as a kid. It was for the PS2. I don't think I've heard of it. Um, it sounds interesting. Someone else, I think you might have also told me. Um, I can't remember if it was you, Lawsheim in the chat, or someone else, but I think someone said, um, mentioned a game called Time Splitters recently. Which also, still yet to look at, actually. I haven't used Tigron yet, have I? Oh, wait, no, I have um, earlier in the stream. I'm just going to take off the... Actually, I'll use... I'll use EGR. Um, actually, no. I'll, I'll, I'll use Oricom for the reverse version of this as well, and then when I get to course 2, I'll switch to EGR. Uh, Rapid Emble says, Man, I always thought Power Swarm was the scariest thing ever after getting eliminated by it only once. Yep, that was me, Lawsome says in the chat. Yeah, I th yeah, you were the one that recommended Time Splitters. Mm. Yeah, I need to. Uh, I think at some point after the stream, I'll look at um, some gameplay of Time Splitters and um, Seek and Destroy on PS2. Might be something new to try out. Okay. Oh, it's that G Tech in front of me, beautiful. <laughs> uh, not. Yeah, I don't think anyone likes G Tech. As Quake Guy said earlier in the chat. Oh no. 
as Crate Guy in, the, in this chat earlier said, um, nobody likes them design-wise and law-wise, which I agree with. Um, yeah. Can't exactly remember the law, but whatever. Yeah, there they are again. Oh, the orbital laser. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, the orbital laser literally does that. <laughs> Absolutely brutal. Kind of like the gravity bomb, except it's um, just for one single ship, and it's a massive laser that rains from the sky. It shoots down from the sky. Oh, what was that? I did not just... I did not do that. <laughs> that one bullet that hit me just turned me around um, 180 degrees for some reason. Oh, no. Um, oh. I just had a plasma, I think. Luckily, it didn't hit. Probably could have got eliminated by that. Oh, oh no. Oh, I almost just turbo boosted right into that bloody advertisement there. That would not have ended well. I probably would have just hit it and stopped. As what typical wipeout fusion consumes usually work. I think most Wipeout games are like that anyway. If you hit something head on, you just kind of just stop. Or bounce off it if it's Wipeout HD. <laughs> okay. oh, no! Again! Why? Bloody cannon bullets just spin the whole ship around for some reason. Oh well. Okay. Fifth. Uh, not too great, but whatever. Yeah, Alcafex is some of the hardest tracks in the whole game, I think. Um, not as hard as... Well, not as annoying as Temtesh Bay Course 2. <laughs> or Kuba's Float Course 2. Um, obviously, Temtesh Bay you'll see in the next stream. Um, as I won't be streaming that tonight, because oh, it's actually midnight now, where I am. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I'm done with these Alcafex tracks, I'm going to stop the stream. 1 hour 45 minutes. It's gone fast. Right, EGR. Uh, Alcavexus Course 2. I believe the demo for this game also had Alcavexus Course 2 as a playable track. I think it was that and Flor Florian Height Course 3. I think those are the only two tracks on the demo. Anyway, um, Foden Double Zero says the Tigron or Zios Ice Super Weapon is ridiculous. That's the scariest. Yeah, um, I think it's Tigron Super Weapon. Yeah, if you're hit by it, it literally turns your ship into ice for a few seconds and. I think any kind of any collision with anything, like um, you'd lose like 10 HP or something, instead of like one or two. It's quite mad. Uh, G Tech is useful for all the early game until you get something with better shield. Uh, maybe it's good in the um, early stage of the game. I'm not sure, um, but I always just use like Pfizer or Vanu. Well, not Vanu, but actually, um, it's usually like Pfizer and. Um, Thing as it, as I unlocked other ships, it was EGR that I ended up using a lot. I think anyway. Um, easiest tracks to get eliminated on though. Um, are you seeing uh, the track I'm on now, Arc of Exodus? Um, uh, like uh, someone else in the chat says, I found myself losing too much time in the pit with Pfizer and Van Uber early on, where G Tech can survive long enough to hit first and take even less damage. Fair enough. I mean. Yeah, um, everyone's got uh, different opinions, I suppose. Um, yeah, maybe G Tech isn't like the worst ship. Um, I suppose I didn't actually know the shielding was that good. I I never really used it much, but um, I suppose yeah. Um, yeah, if you like using G Tech, that's fine. Um, yeah, Busy Twelve in the chat says, "When will you stream next time?" Um, that will be probably Monday or Tuesday, uh, at hopefully 9.30pm. I usually try and schedule for 9.30, but um, sometimes I end up having to um, stream slightly later for whatever reason. Bad Moon Rising at Midnight, American Werewolf in London. Hmm. Huh. 
I think I know what you mean. Um, uh, anyway, let's get on with Alkavexus Course 2. That was a poor start again, but oh uh, well. Yeah, I've got EGX, a much better ship than Oricon in my opinion. Yeah, I was only joking before about saying no one likes G-Tech. I mean, obviously everyone has different opinions. Um, yeah, if you like G-Tech, that's fine. Um, but for me personally, I'm just not really a big fan. Um, I think it's mostly the handling and the design as well. For me personally, and I'm just not a fan of. Um, but yeah, if you like it, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, yeah, for me personally, I think... Oh no! <laughs> that's That was not good. Um... Yeah, EGX, or EGR in this game rather, um, is probably one of my favourite ships to use. I think Piran is my absolute favourite though, but it's only unlocked like right at the end of the game, I think. Like right at the end of the AG League. Oh no. Flying into all sorts of objects in this race. Yeah, I can still remember the first time I raced on this track and it it was absolute bonkers. Like, um, I think I got eliminated halfway through lap one. Yeah, that um, didn't go too well. And I was using Pfizer as well. It would have been on the demo. Again, a lot of my experience in Wipeout would have been during 2021, three years ago. Because that's when I got into the series. Very late, again. But I, that's just when I happened to get into it, I guess. Oh, wow. <laughs> um... Um, also, um, yeah, just thinking about, just thinking about, like, the way the ships in this game, uh, they kind of automatically pitch, um, according to, like, the track, uh, well, the, the pitch of the track, I guess. Like, obviously, in the PS1 games, like, the tracks were kind of, no, sorry, the ships were kind of just, they would just, like, glide over the track. But in this game, they stay level to, like, the pitch of the track, if that makes any sense. It turns out this is actually really close to the original, um, like, the original intentions for, like, the first wipeout, like, the design document. Um, because apparently in the design document for the first wipeout, it literally mentions, um, that, uh, the, the pitch of the ships would, like, kind of le be level with the track. And there's also, um, I think there's a film called Hackers, which um, has like prototype kind of gameplay of Wipeout, and you can kind of see um, that same kind of physics um, with the, sh the ship kind of staying level with the track, I think. Because yeah, a Cygnos has actually made like um, futuristic like uh, racing footage for um, the, the, the movie Hackers, and um, it was kind of based on what was. Their, well, their game that was in development at the time, which was obviously Wipeout 1 in 1995. And yeah, um, turns out the original design document, they wanted it so that the ships behave how they, basically how they do in this game. So that technically means that this game actually is the closest to matching the original design uh, um, intentions, I guess. I am rambling a bit, but um, yeah. Uh, Rapid Ember in the chat says um, it's got the highest shields of the starting three ships in the game. The other two ships are not particularly durable, and GTEC gets completely outclassed literally two or three league events in. Uh, um, also, highest top speed, if I recall correctly, which I think Oricom also outclasses in immediately after. Yeah, that's true. Um, don't worry, I don't like GTEC either. I just consider it as a necessary evil. Fair enough. <laughs> um, yeah, you made good points actually. Um, is your name Jake? Yes. Um, I don't really mention it much, but yeah, um, I, I usually have my initials as just J-A-K on like the PSP games. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, my name's Jake. Um, yeah. Um, I think I used Piranha. Actually, wait, I haven't done the, <laughs> haven't done the reverse version. Yeah. 
here we go. Uh, Foden00 says, the design decisions in this game didn't make much sense to me when I originally played until I um, until I played the original game a year or two ago and then I really got how much DNA this sh this shares with the first. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I understand what you mean. Um, same here, brother, says Lawsheim. Oh, your name's also Jake. Nice. <laughs> um, but it's super close in tone. Yeah, I agree, actually. I think, like, the kind of just the setting, I suppose. Mm. Yeah, the first... Well, especially the first Wipeout and, like, 2097 kind of had some, like, dark, dystopian-looking tracks. So, um, yeah. Oh no, that's a, that's a massive rock in the way. Oh, why did I press triangle? <laughs> that was an accident. Oh no, I've completely put myself off now. Oh god, quick. Kind of wish the cameras change instantaneously, but um, whatever. Yeah, this track's long. Um, Oh no! <laughs> Used to turn left there. Right. Did that hit? I'm actually sure. Okay. Yeah, EGR EGR is quite good in this track, I think. Whoa. Yeah, I'm not really the biggest fan of its design, but it controls well, and that's what matters. It's a good balance of speed and shield and um, agility, I think. Okay, I'll keep the plasma because I might be able to do something with it. If I can aim it properly. I think I've landed like one plasma in this whole stream. Okay. Everyone's getting eliminated. What's going on? Um, I think I've had one time where it. Um, by the time I got to lap three, there was like four opponents left. There were like twelve eliminations in one race. It was absolutely insane. I don't know what happens. Um, I don't know if the AI opponents like bug out or anything. But um, yeah. Oh yeah. Speaking of bugging out, I have seen a video a few weeks ago. I think if Quake guy's still watching, I think. I saw your video um, where all the opponents, um, for some reason, were just they completely like lost it and were all the opponents were like s like turning like into the walls and like going backwards and exploding. It was absolutely hilarious. Um, I think it's, I'm not sure what the bug was. I don't know if you mentioned it, but yeah, I remember seeing that video a um, couple of week, a couple of months ago. Um, I actually saw it in the Ballistic NG Discord of all places, in the Wipeout channel. That's how I found it. Pretty sure. Speaking of Ballistic NG, I should probably play that at some point on stream as well. Although my computer is... Oh no. Uh, I completely went off the track. Okay. Yeah, I was just going to say my computer is not that powerful. It can... It can stream at like 1080p perfectly fine, which, I'm, which is great, but um, it can't really play like a graphically intensive game and stream at 1080p at the same time without it lagging a lot. So, yeah, streaming Billy Skinji is something I'll probably consider doing at some point, um, but um, it might not look great. I might have to turn the graphics down. I'm, I could run it on retro graphics, to be fair. That might look cool. But yeah, I'm used to running the game at 720p30, which a lot of people might think is garbage, but I mean, it works fine for me. Um, looks good enough. Um, and it plays well. Oh, yeah. Um, anyway. Uh, <laughs> Saving Private Bob says, Army of Jake slowly acquiring. Um, Foden00 says, The setting the pilots has a sense of humour. Hmm. Uh... Are you talking about wipe you're talking about fusion, aren't you? Um, big change to Wipeout 3 was 
It was so minimal and believable future, which I love too. But it was total tonal whiplash when I played Fusion for the first time. I was disappointed with Fusion initially, but love it now. <laughs> you he you healed for the finish. Yeah, I keep doing that for some reason, like accidentally pitting. Um, um, and on the last lap. Anyway, um, I think my voice has gone a bit. I've <laughs> been talking too much in the last two hours. Okay, I'm just going to remove the down... No, remove the upgrades for this. So I can get enough credits to upgrade the Tigron ship. I don't know if it's a good idea to be using this on Alka Vexus, but let's just try it anyway. Uh, again, the last little upgrade, and I don't, I can't afford it, I'm missing 300,000 credits. Okay. Um, that was the wrong one. Um, yeah, I'll just... I'll just remove the shield upgrades for this. So now it's uh, like a glass cannon, pretty much. Okay. There we go. Uh, Alkavexus, course three. Very long track, and again, a nightmare. Um, I appreciate Wipeout Fusion a lot more after learning the story of Wipeout X and how this game kind of got screwed over in development. Yeah, I know what you mean, because apparently this game was originally Wipeout X, and I think it was in development before Wipeout 3. Like, it was the one that's, it was supposed to be after 2097, I think, and development started in 1999, I believe, on PC, and then eventually, I think, it had to be scrapped, and they kind of carried things over um, to, like, PS2 development. I think it was something to do with like the PC um, architecture, just couldn't be ported over to PS2 very well. So yeah, um, I do think Fusion could have been a bit better. Um, it's not bad by any means, but um, I don't know. But like, I do... Um, it's kind of a shame like what happened like, during development and stuff. I feel like... I don't know. Um, as I said before, I feel like this game sometimes feels like it tries to do a little bit too much at once. Like, it's a very different from the previous games. And, uh, yes, yeah, some fans are uh, not... Uh, they don't really like the kind of... Well, just the, the, the overall style and handling of the ships. Some people do really like this game, though, which is nice. Um, fair enough. Um, for me... I'm kind of mixed. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't hate this game by any means, but um, I definitely prefer most of the other Wipeout titles, personally. I'll just read the chat. Um, okay, yeah, there's quite a few messages. Um, yeah, Foden is double zero says, yeah, they had to start development again, didn't they? Yeah, I th think so, according to reports. I've seen. Um, Saving Private Bob says, I beat this game today, by the way. Oh, nice. <laughs> Good on you. Um, well done. Um, hope it was a lot of fun. Um, Lawsheim says, Being called Jake, I'm ashamed to have the same name as Jake Paul and him versus Mike Tyson. He's almost 60 versus a 27-year-old. I want Mike to win, but Jake has youth and speed on his side. Okay. <laughs> um, interesting. Uh, same Pro Ball says probably won't play it much again, but was fun though. But HD is where it's at. Yeah, HD Fury is probably one of my favourite Wipeout games. Um, Phone and Double Zero says made one under the impression that um, the PS2. Wait. Yeah, maybe under the impression that the PS2 would be way more powerful than it ended up being, and so they had to rebuild from scratch. Yeah, I think that might have been most of, well, mostly the reason why development had to restart. Um, on top of that, I believe they also didn't get PS2 dev kits until the system released, or after the system released? Oh god, I hope that's not true. That seems quite unfair. Um, Phone Double Zero says, I didn't... Re I didn't realise it would have been on PC, but it makes sense, I suppose. The first two were on PC. That's true, yeah. Uh, Wipeout 3 never got a PC port or anything, but yeah. The first Wipeout and Wipeout 2097, if you didn't know, yeah, they had 
uh, PC and Sega Saturn ports, uh, which is interesting. And of course, um, yeah, Wipeout 64 happened after 2097, and that was exclusive to Nintendo 64. And considering Psygnosis were like a part of Sony, I'm pretty sure, back then, there is absolutely no way that something like that would happen these days. <laughs> like, uh, Sony, like part of Sony literally releasing a game exclusively for Nintendo. Like, um, it's something that would be unheard of these days, I think. Oh no. Yeah, I'm just gonna get on with this. Oh yes, I could do the turbo jump. Uh, that... <laughs> oh. Uh, that did not go well. <laughs> um, I may have clipped the wall. That was so stupid. Oh, why is the autopilot, like, hitting the walls? Better than that. Well, <laughs> apparently not, actually, because, again, earlier it literally steered into the wall and started racing the other way for a second. Ugh. Still can't believe that happened. Oh, I almost hit, man. Oh, yes. Oh, it's Piranha as well. Oh. Sorry if my voice keeps cracking. <laughs> oh, no, that was a bad, long grind on the wall. Oh, God. Right, um... Terrible. Ah yes, let's try this again. There we go, that's how I meant to do it. <laughs> Not hitting the wall and getting deflected in a different direction. Well at least this game does that and not like what it does in Wipeout HD where you literally... Oh sh... oh god. Um, yeah, in Wipeout HD sometimes if you hit some like a certain object, like certain objects will just stop the ship entirely or make you bounce the other direction which is incredibly unrealistic. Um, especially considering how much later that game came out after the first Wipeout um, in 1995. Anyway, second place. I don't know why I used the plasma. I don't know why it shoots on the left side of the ship, but whatever. Uh, Rapid Emble says, I think the Sony acquisition of Cygnosis was actually between 3 and this game. Ah. And that's why they had to cancel the PC version. Ah, okay. I guess that makes more sense then. I didn't know that. I, I just, for some reason I thought Cygnosis were like part of Sony. Um, oh yeah, of course, because yeah, it became Studio Liverpool in the early 2000s. Um, and then that's when they were part of Sony Europe or something. Okay. Anyway, um, now, oh, this stream's been going for over two hours now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do the final track of this stream. Um, I don't know why I went back, but yeah, so this is track 21 of 42 in all the tracks in the game. So yeah, uh, Alkavix is course 3 reverse. Yeah, this won't be any easier in reverse by any means. So yeah, this this will be the last track I'll do on this stream because otherwise I'll literally be here. Um, well, it'll probably be another two hours um, of, I mean, if I do the other 21 tracks. And I don't really feel like streaming until half two in the morning, so, um, yeah. Let me just catch up with it. Okay. The waterfall skill cut on this track drives me crazy. The AI always takes it and gives a five second leave you miss it. Yeah. Um, I have once seen the AI um, fall off onto that section of the track and uh, I think like hit the roof or something and just completely... Uh, well, oh no, <laughs> basically something like that happened. They like hit the roof and just lost all their speed and end up going the other way. <laughs> Did not do that on purpose. Okay. Left turn this time. It's pretty cool how the ships, uh, they can fly over all sorts of different surfaces in this game, like water and stuff. Oh god. Oh, out of the way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 12. That's not too great. Oh, a nitro rocket. This might be an elimination coming up. Okay. I'm not sure. 
just getting ready to hear contender eliminated. Probably not gonna hit. Oh my god, that's bad. Oh wait, I've got a quake. Let's shoot it backwards. Okay, I don't think I eliminated anyone, but it's okay. Don't really need to, but I'll just do it anyway just to be safe. Okay, I'm 11th. This is not going great. That's because I've grinded like all the walls. <laughs> oh wow, that was close. The ship tipping over on its side. Okay. Oh, someone's been eliminated. Happens in. I don't think I've ever gone. Oh wow. That was interesting. <laughs> Just gonna say, I don't think I've ever done a single race in this game where there hasn't been at least one ship eliminated. I mean, it's fairly common in most of the Wipeout games, but um, in this game, it, there's never not at least one elimination, and I've just fallen off the track. What the hell? <laughs> that was bizarre. <laughs> yeah, this game is a little bit buggy sometimes. I think. In my experience, it's probably the glitchiest game in all of the series. Um, I don't know, it might be a different... Some people might not... It might not have been too bad for, for some people, but... For me, personally, yeah. This game is quite buggy, in my experience. Oh, um, it's down to, like, 110 shield energy again. Final lap. Yep, final lap of the whole stream. Oh no! Oh, oh man, that's not gone well at all. Doesn't help. I'm getting really tired as well. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Slid right into that corner. I should not have chosen Tigre, it's just too sluggish, and I keep slide, well, grinding against these walls. I do like how the only collision sound is just like a light. Oh no. <laughs> the only collision sound in this game is um, pretty much just a light scrape. And that's it, even if you hit a wall like really hard. If you hit ships, it makes different noises, but. Oh wow. Oh god. It's really sloppy gameplay. Not the best to end on, but oh well. well. This track's been going for so long that another song started as well. There we go. Second, it's alright. Seven eliminations on that one race. I think that's the most so far. I haven't really been keeping an eye on that. None of the eliminations were me because um, I did pretty <laughs> meh. But oh well. Um, but yeah, that's uh, half of all the tracks in Wipeout Fusion. I'm going to have to continue this in a second stream in a couple of days. Maybe, I might, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Actually, maybe not. Hmm. Um, if not, then Monday or Tuesday at 9.30pm. That, that's when I'll next be streaming. Um, yeah, thank you everyone for watching tonight. Um, I'll just catch up with the chat before I go. Um... This song is sick. Um, this is uh, this is Switchback. Sick is a different song in the game by Utah Sings. Uh, slash J. I thought you were serious. Uh, most ambitious though. The scale of these maps are on another level, so I can forgive the bugginess and track collision being a bit. Yeah, I see what you mean. Like this guy, uh, this game like does try to do a lot, um, and some of it's executed quite well. I think, like the. Yeah, like, it has the most unique tracks um, in any of the series, I think. Any of the games in the series. I think 2048 was another game that started to try and get more, like, experimental and trying different things. Although, I might actually not, like... Now that I'm playing this again, I might actually prefer this over 2048, maybe. I'm not sure, though. Um, probably have to play the rest of the tracks to properly decide. Um, but yeah, um, thanks for watching everyone. Thanks for the stream, glad I could catch it. Have a good night everyone, thank you for the message there. Rapid M, M Ball, I think that's your name. 
yeah, sorry if I pronounce anyone's name wrong by accident. Um, oh no, my cables, my controller cables got tangled with my headset cable, that's great. Oh, there we go. Um, thanks for watching everyone. Um, I'll see you in the next uh, stream, hopefully. Um, and yeah, again, that'll be happening hopefully on Monday or Tuesday at um, 9.30pm GMT. Um, and yeah, it'll just be another two hours of the other 21 tracks um, in this game. So that would be, I think, that's Vol Square um, onwards. So yeah, it'd be Vol Square, Temtesh Bay, and Cat Motor 12. Those will be the next tracks. Um, and I've also just realised it's not 21 tracks remaining. There's um, there's 18 actually. <sighs> So I've made a slight math error, but oh well. Um, and Foden Double Zero says Fusion always draws you in. The gameplay is the funnest in the series, I think, regardless of the ship control. Uh, fair enough. Um, I'm glad you like the game. Um, have a good night. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, I, I am actually having quite a lot of fun with this game. Um, I don't think I'll play it as often as I should. Um, uh, yeah, I do. I still think I prefer like most of the other Wipeout games, but um, th this one's a lot of fun. It definitely shouldn't be forgotten, and I, I could appreciate it for all the the like different things it tried to do. Uh, Lolzheim says, "Happy to join in. Uh, you're an awesome streamer. Thank you very much. Um, I've only been doing streams for like a month, I think, like properly. So I'm glad you're enjoying them." Uh, Hopefully they'll get these streams will improve over time in terms of quality and everything, but um, yes, I'm I'm glad um, glad you um, like my stream, um, even though I'm just starting out pretty much. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Oh, um, saying Private Bob says great stream. When's the next? Sorry, saying good night to my girl. Uh, that's all right. That's totally fine. Uh, next stream will be Monday or Tuesday, I think, at 9:30 p.m. GMT. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for that everyone, um, thank you for watching and good night. Thank you.